Okay, we are back. Just a recap, we have started with our fold over elastic and here's a real close up so you can see how that three step zigzag looks. And I've got the zigzag really close to the edge, it looks really nice. And then here in the middle I pulled it tight so that it's got elasticity to it because it is our elastic. And I'm going to start right where I left off. Again, using my three-step zigzag. Here's my machine settings. Number eight is my three-step zigzag. It is a 5.0 in width across and a 1.5 in length. And that gives me that. I will no longer be pulling on my elastic. I'm just going to be tucking my fabric in the middle. As you go around the curves, you do have to stop often to tuck your fabric in, but that's okay. Even stopping every couple of inches to retuck and recheck, this method is by far the fastest way to make a diaper. Okay, I'm approaching where I made my mark that I need to start stretching again for that back elastic. So I got a couple more inches where I don't have to pull and then I got to start pulling again. Okay. Tuck just a couple inches, maybe four inches or so and then pull that elastic as tight as you can. Okay, I made it to my other mark so I can stop pulling now. Whew. Okay, I am to my other mark on the other side where I need to start pulling again. 
So you guys know how to do this. You just tuck it into the crease, pull as hard as you possibly can. Like if you think you're going to break it, that means you're doing it right. Lost my grip, gotta redo it. can stop pulling and I'm on the home stretch. Okay, I am almost back to where I started, so I can go ahead and cut that FOE off. And I'm going to cut it just a little bit past where I can see that I started, because I need a little extra to fold it under. Okay, I'm getting really close and I cut my start at a little bit of a bias so I'm going to cut my end at a little bit of a bias not a lot and then I'm gonna tuck my piece under so that I don't have a raw edge because I don't want it to fray put it all back together here I'm going to go backwards just to lock it in and that's it. And here we have our final product. You can see that it stretches really nicely at the legs. On the inside we have our two flaps so that we can tuck our prefold into. Like here's a prefold, 
fold it into thirds. And you can tuck it under the back flap, tuck it under the front flap. Snap it up. And there you are, all finished.